in Mauritius. So what had happened is my mom got engaged to a French Mauritian who was slightly younger than her. He was in uh, Johannesburg studying to become a farrier. So mm. the, guys, the guys had changed the shoes on horses, right? Oh, and okay. <laughs> so they, they fell in love and he was this young guy and he came from a family that um, ran the, the, the turf club, the horse racing in Mauritius. Huh. So he said to her, you and your son, Ryan, are coming with me to Mauritius. So that's what we did. And we flew over there and we lived there for nearly two years, actually. And every time I look out the window, you're just absolutely awestruck by wow. creation. And you just wow. get this sense of almost serene and everything just feels, there's a spirit. There's a real spirit over everything there that is just magic. Hmm. And um, we're on the tarmac and the plane's just starting to pull off. And the next one, it stops. And then there's a commotion in the front and the plane moves back forward and in come the security. And they start calling my name over the intercom. What? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I literally, you have to sometimes go with your heart, right? In fact, most of you always need to go with your heart. That's the important thing, right? When, when this is telling you do this and your mind is telling you do that, always go with this. That, that big lesson for me is what, is what is my vision? What is right for me? And to be able to say no, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, yes. People aren't going to be that offended if you say no to them. We live in a society where it's almost like chronological. You need to do school at this age. You need to be working on your career and meet your spouse at this age. You need to be having kids by 30. You need to be living in a great big house and you know, accumulate all this bullshit. Right? And something that I've realized, and especially during that stage, was it's okay to reset. Firstly, I love sales. Sales is the most amazing thing. <laughs> and I always tell my staff, you know, they're like, oh, you know, I didn't realize I was going to have to sell. And I was like, buddy, you've been selling since you were three years old. <laughs> when you went to the store and you asked your mother if you could have a sweet and she said no, you were a poor salesman. <laughs> you can trust a lot of things in life, but you cannot trust your memory. <laughs> so wherever you go, take a notebook with you to make notes because how many great things do you hear inspirational moments do you have in your life that you should write down to come back to as reference for later and ever since then I